بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما قدر الله حق قدره والأرض جميعا قبضته يوم القيامة والسماوات مطويات بيمينه سبحانه سبحانه وتعالى عما يشركون ونفخ في الصور فصعق من في السماوات ومن في الأرض إلا من شاء الله ثم نفخ فيه أخرى فإذا هم قيام وأشرقت الأرض بنور ربها ووضع الكتاب وجيء بالنبيين والشهداء وجيء بالنبيين والشهداء شهداء وقضي بينهم بالحق وهم لا يظلمون ووفيت كل نفس ما عملت وهو أعلم بما يفعلون وسيق الذين كفروا إلى جهنم زمرا وسيق الذين كفروا إلى جهنم زمرا حتى إذا جاءوها فتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم رسل ألم يأتكم رسل منكم يتلون عليكم آيات ربكم وينذرونكم لقاء يومكم هذا قالوا بلى ولكن حقت كلمة العذاب على الكافرين قيل ادخلوا أبواب جهنم خالدين 
فيها فبئس مثوى المتكبرين وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة زمرا حتى إذا جاءوها وفتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم سلام عليكم طبتم فد خلوها خالدين وقالوا الحمد لله الذي صدقنا وعده وقالوا الحمد لله الذي صدقنا وعده وأورثنا الأرض نتبوأ من الجنة حيث نشاء فنعم أجر العاملين وترى الملائكة حافين من حول العرش يسبحون بحمد ربهم وقضي بينهم بالحق وقيل الحمد لله رب العالمين صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على رسول الله وآله الأطهار على رسول الله وحيدر الكرار صل على محمد وآل محمد Thank you so much, Brother Haider, for that beautiful recitation. Can I get another loud salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad? Without further ado, I'd like to invite our respected Sheikh Muhammad Ayad to the table with uh, three loud salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وشفيع ذنوب أبي القاسم محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين In the name of Allah the entirely merciful and the especially merciful the one who gave us opportunity inshallah tomorrow we will begin the nights of power nights of qadr I hope that all our brothers and sisters in our community they prepared themselves mentally and spiritually for the nights of Qadr. Just remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing an annual evaluation, an update for our age, our sustenance and the final destination and everything is written during these nights. That's why believers across the world must try their best to seek forgiveness and to try their best to connect themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so 
he can write a better future for ourselves and for the Muslim nation and for the world in general. And I believe personally that I hope that Allah will write the reappearance of the Imam of our time that we receive here next year. May Allah hasten his reappearance and make us all among his dedicated and sincere servants. It's time for wilaya, which wilaya is reflected from the light of Tawheed. And subhanallah, we believe in the Islamic religion that the wilaya is mainly for Allah, and we will explain that inshallah. But to begin with the first verse, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَهُمْ رَاكِعُونَ Allah is saying in Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 55 and 56, your only guardian is Allah. إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ The only wali, the main wali, the source of wilaya, the one who's closest to us, and he's managing our affairs, he controls us, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ And then he added, and his messenger. And then he added, and the fellow believers, and subhanallah, he gave a specification, he gave a certain characteristics for those believers. They pray, they establish prayer, they pay zakat in the state of ruku. So now in Arabic language, always the Quran Kareem generalized things. But Allah, he meant certain individuals in these verses. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his entire struggle was for this Quran to be revealed. Now I ask Muslims, how you can convince an atheist that God communicated with us in the year 2024? The only answer will be, is proving that this Quran is the living miracle. After you prove that this Quran is the living miracle, you can convince him that these are the words of Allah. The biggest question debate between believers and non-believers, if, if this creator communicated with us or not, and the only way as Muslims to prove it is through the Quran. The Prophet fought and struggled and strived toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this Quran to be revealed. Now, and Prophet Muhammad, he looked at Ali and he told him, Oh Ali, I will fight for the revelation of this book. But oh Ali, you will be struggling and fighting for the interpretation of this book. So now when we ask the Muslim nations, who is the only companion of the Prophet who actually prayed, established prayer, and he paid zakat, he did two in one in the state of ruku at the same time, except Ali alayhi salam. And I will be mentioning the narration that Sayyid Taqtaba in Tafsir al-Mizan when he spoke about this story and what the Prophet reacted after he saw Ali alayhi salam giving his ring in Rukur. Now, the meaning, the term wali, first let us start with the literal meaning of the, of the term wali by itself. So you can see the difference between Sunni and Shia school of thought when we tell them it's obvious Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, took Ali alayhi salam and he raised his right hand and his, he said, whoever I am his master, whoever I am his wali, then Ali is his wali. Then they go try to explain what is the meaning of the word wali in the day of Khadir. So they will go to the second meaning here, which means friend. Imagine Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, announcing one of the most important news in the history of Islam, making the Muslims like wait patiently in the desert, in that hot sand for a couple hours for just to tell them that Ali is my body, is my friend, right? It doesn't make any sense, right? Is my bro, as we say in modern language. So the term wali has several meanings across different contexts. The first meaning is guardian or protector. In Arabic, wali can mean guardian or protector. Now, subhanAllah, this could refer to a legal guardian, someone responsible for the well-being of another person, such as a parent or appointed guardian. Second meaning friend, yes, we agree. In the Arabic dictionaries, the word wali might mean what? A friend. Three, saint or friend of God. You tell me from where you brought that definition. The Sufis, subhanAllah, we have this school of thought that the people go like fully spiritual, right? 
So they call the wali is considered in their terminology as a saint or a friend of God. This concept is deeply rooted in mystical Islamic tradition, where a wali is believed to have reached a high spiritual rank and enjoys a close relationship with the divine. Do you know that the Sufis, they take the role model in life, Imam Ali, Imam Zain al-Abideen alayhi salam. They call him in Arabic that Ali Qutub Mahwar Alam al-Wujud. That's what they call Ali alayhi salam, the Sufis. So the Sufis agreed that Ali alayhi salam is the one who's the greatest role model in worshipping Allah and spiritually connecting, connecting himself for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has one of the highest spiritual ranks in the, eye of, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So yes, friend or a saint or a friend of God, yani Khalil, that term came from Sufis. For leader or authority with Shias, they support this understanding of Wilayah. That's why Wali can refer to a leader or authority figure. This could be a political leader, religious leader, or someone who holds authority over a community or a group. And that's when we said that the word wali for Ali alayhi salam means authority or leader and is divinely appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Five legal representative, wali can refer to a legal representative or proxy, especially in matters such as marriage, where a guardian is required for certain individuals like women. So usually before we do any aqid, marriage, we always take the proxy or representation from the female from her guardian, her father. That's also, we call him the wali of that woman. Also, or for example, if God forbid any of your loved ones passed away, departed, the oldest son is the wali. He must make sure that the death will, the will that that dead individual, the departed individual left, they must work upon that will. And six, it means also a ruler. It was used Islamically that the word wali means what? Ruler. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Okay, so Quranically I'm speaking now. The word wali, based on our scholars, what it means Quranically. So in this slide, I mentioned the two main meanings that we will be talking about today and how we can apply them to the wilaya of Allah, wilaya of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and wilaya of Ali. By the way, you know that subhanAllah, the term wilaya has reoccurred in various forms in the Quran Kareem. You know Arabic language, wilaya, awla, awliya, yatawalla. Do you know how many times God mentioned this term? 236 times in the Quran Kareem. Definitely he's trying to drive our attention to the meaning of wilaya and why we're gathered here tonight to speak about wilaya itself. Now, it has two main meanings. The first meaning from Ibn Faris, one of the Arabic experts, he said that wali means the special proximity, the closest to you. So when I say this person is wali to you, that means he's close to you. And the second meaning of wali, it means like someone who's responsible of managing our affairs. He has an administrative position or for example, governance, something related to authority and power, right? Now, how we can apply these two meanings for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Innama waliyukum Allah. Now, I want to ask you a question. In the Quran, Kareem, we have this verse, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa nahnu aqrabu ilayhi, yani Allah aqrab ilaykum min hablil al-wari. This verse is saying, and we are nearer to you then your life vain. SubhanAllah, there's an interesting story about this. Abu Hanifa, you know Abu Hanifa, in the time of Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq SubhanAllah, he always tried to throw an eye watching Ahl al-Bayt So he saw Imam al-Qadim praying and people are passing in front of him and some of them touching his clothes without him doing any reaction. Then he came to Imam al-Sadiq complaining, oh, I saw your son al qadim doing so and so. So he told him, call him for me. When he called Imam al qadim Imam Sadiq told his son, Abu Hanifa is telling me that you are praying and people are passing in front of you and you weren't doing any reaction. He said, my father, the one who I was praying to, he was closer to me than them. 
That's the mental spiritual connection of Ahlul Bayt alayhi wasalam with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he concluded telling Abu Hanifa, wa nahnu aqrabu ilayhi min hablil al-wareed. Stating a verse from the Quran that Allah is nearer to us than our life thing. He's closer to us than death. Subhanallah. And some individuals, they live their lives, as we said yesterday, practical atheism, where individuals, unfortunately, and let me mention this point, because I felt bad yesterday, it was a huge topic, and I couldn't like summarize it in like brief statement, practical brief statement, that we believe that when you actually follow the one, you, pro you are protecting yourself from falling confused following the many. You know this verse in the Quran Karim, Al Hakim al Takathur, you are distract, distracted by the many ways, many lifestyles, many ways of living, and so on and so forth. When you follow one source in life, that will make you more concentrated mentally, more focused. When you seek the source of guidance from the one, you are freeing yourself from confusing yourself following the many. Get it? That's the main idea of the Tawheed, by the way. So, yes, when we follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when we follow Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, those are images of the one. Now, let me continue. The second meaning, Allah. Allah is the wali, is the nearest to us, right? We have this verse in the Quran Kareem, and please just concentrate, try with me. You know the idol worshippers? Their major issue is what? Is in wilaya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the verse in the Quran Kareem is saying, Allah is asking a question in the Quran Kareem for those people that they worship idols, statues, or they follow other than Allah. Because nowadays idols are not statues. We have singers, uh, athletes, we have many ways we call them idols. People are more inspired by these figures more than Ahlul Bayt السلام, the prophets who came to awaken our hearts and call us to build the afterlife, right? That's the main reason why we were created. As Prophet Muhammad said, you were created for the afterlife. Now Allah is asking this question, or have they taken awliya, protectors, beside Allah? And then he said, but Allah is the wali. He's assuring us, Allah is the wali. Now in this verse, the wilaya means what? It doesn't mean near. It means protecting, managing your affairs, taking care of you. You know, like in certain civilizations, they build idol for every source, for love. You have an idol, you have a statue, you have, for example, false god. For healing, right? For reigning, and so on and so forth. Subhanallah. And the prophets were fighting, struggling, striving to free the minds and the hearts of people from stucking in the many. Now another verse in the Quran Karim, if you ask those idol worshippers, who controlled the universe? Who created, sorry, the universe? If you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they say Allah. Okay, who's taking care of me on earth? It's the idols. Allah is the wali in the sky and he is the wali on earth. That's the first meaning of wali. Now wilaya of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. So easy, we finished wilaya of Allah. Shias believe that Allah is the wali. Period. Now we move to the wilaya of Prophet Muhammad. Now we said we have two meanings. The first meaning, closest to you. Second meaning, the one who is responsible to manage our affairs. I think there's some slide. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Now. Oh no, forward too. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Thank you. So the closest to you, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was asked. Please listen to this narration from the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. He's saying, none of you truly believes in Allah unless Allah, until Allah and his messenger is more beloved to him than anything else. Okay, period. Uh, Prophet Muhammad is saying, None of us will be actual believers until Allah and the Messenger of Allah is more beloved to us than anything else. So I will put them as priority over myself, over my life, over my parents, over my children, over my everything that I own in this world. 
Subhanallah, an example is reading the incident involving the companion. Abu Rafi', look at just this story to explain to you how much the Prophet was close to his companion. How much they loved him. They were inspired by him. Abu Rafi', he entered to the Prophet. He is saying, I entered upon the Messenger of Allah. While he was sleeping or receiving a relation. You know the Prophet when he receives a relation, how he physically reacts to that? Some of them said he's close to fainting. Some of them close to sleeping. That's what, what, what happened to the Prophet physically when he receives revelation. So he said that either he was sleeping or receiving revelation. And he saw a snake, and there's no exaggeration with that. He saw a snake on the side of the house. So he said, I dislike to kill it. Why I didn't want to distract the Prophet or to cause any noise that might harm or hurt the Prophet. Whether he's receiving revelation or sleeping. He said, then I lay down between him and the snake. So if any harm come from it to him, it will reach me instead. The believers of the Prophet were able to sacrifice their lives to just not distract the Prophet from anything. That's how close they were to him and he was to them. Now, the second meaning, we have this verse in the Quran Kareem, Awla. We said, Wali, Awla. That's how we do tafsir Quran bil Quran. How, that's how we explain Quran using the Quran like Sayyid Tattaba'i did. So when we have this verse, and Nabiyu Awla bil Mu'nina min anfusihim, the Prophet is more worthy for the believers than themselves. In other terms, the Prophet have authority over you more than you have authority for you over yourself. I don't know if it makes sense. So the Prophet, Allah send him, he cares about me more than I care about my own self. To that extent. That's why the Prophet has authority over us. Now, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was asked the meaning of this wilaya. I will say it in Arabic. I love always in my lectures to say verses in Arabic and a hadith in Arabic. So when he was asked the Prophet about the meaning of wilaya, he said, He said, meaning of wilaya is the obedience and compliance in what you love in him. And then he concluded saying this verse. مَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ This verse in the Quran saying, whatever the messenger has given you, take, and what he has forbidden you, refrain from. Trust me, I want to ask you a question, and let us be honest with each other. I know we have a lot of mothers in the mosque. You know when you have a child stubborn, six, seven, eight, nine years, and he doesn't want to take the medicine, you force him to take the medicine. The reason behind that is that you know more than him. You know more than him. You are certain that this medicine will be a beneficial for that child. We at any age, we are children in the eye of the Prophet. Because he sees the afterlife. He knows the reality of life. So he cares about us. He knows what is more beneficial for us. Even if I'm 30 years old, stubborn individual, he has authority over me to force me. Take the medicine so I can heal myself. Make sense? That's why when Prophet Muhammad stood he and Ali, and we, they were looking at Medina al Munawwar, he told him, Oh Ali, me and you, we are the fathers of this nation. So, yes, the concept of spiritual father on Judgment Day, which are Prophet Muhammad, Imam Ali, spiritual mother, Sayyidah Fatima, we believe in that. Now, to continue, Wilayat al Wasay, and again, Sallu ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Inshallah, everyone is following me. So we rely of Allah, we rely of Prophet Muhammad, now we rely of the Wasay. We said we have two meanings of rely, the nearest and the one who manage our affairs. Third, الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةُ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةُ وَهُمْ Again, those who believe, pray, pay zakat in rukuah, while bowing down. Now I want to ask you a question. How Imam Ali is the closest to the Prophet? From where we can prove that from the Quran Kareem. Prophet Muhammad in one of the verses, I'm not asking you for any worldly gains except to have a practical love for the nearest. Who are the nearest to the Prophet? His family. When he was asked, Who are those Al Qurba? Qurba means in English the nearest. So translate Qurba to English nearest. Who are these the nearest ones to you? He said, Ali 
Fatima Hassan and Hussein. So now Ali is the wali because he's the closest to the Prophet. And by the way, I brought just this night, yesterday, one of the mistakes that I did. I put like five, six verses for each uh, concept. So tonight I just bring one hadith, one verse. If you want to dig deep, you can find hundreds of different narrations that's proving that Ali is the closest to who? To the Prophet. Now, let me mention this story, the story of the ring, that we all know it. But I will mention it from the words of Abadar and Sayyid Tabtaba in reading it in Tafsir al -Nazim. He said that Abadar entered to the mosque of the Prophet where the mosque, where Prophet Muhammad, Imam Ali, everyone is praying. Now, and subhanAllah, a supplicant came, a beggar came and raised his hand on the sky and said, O oh Allah, bear witness that I asked in the mosque of the Messenger of Allah and no one gave me anything. Do you understand if someone entered this mosque now and he asked for money, it's forbidden to run with him. He's in the mosque. As if Allah in his house is telling us who can be my representative in giving him money. By the way, du'as is not, okay, God, oh, everyone will sit here when someone will come in begging. Oh God, please give him money. God will use you to give him money. It's not that he will send an angel holding gold and give him. It doesn't make any sense. Supplications in Islam are a spiritual booster, if you can call it like that. So it will activate the internal attributes and skills for us to do something in the external world. Allah will ask us, who can replace me in the service? So when I want to heal doctors, God is the healer. Allah uses the doctors to heal people. That's how sacred this job is. God will use my tongue to deliver the words of him to the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's how God uses us. We are nothing but representatives of Allah. Inni fil ardi. Khalifa, I'm putting on the land a representative. Now, he asked Allah, oh Allah witness. Ali was praying. No, Ali is fully attached to Allah. I'm not exaggerating. Even some, some scholars, they asked how Ali in prayer, looking at the beauty of God, and he was able to concentrate with the beggar. Now, Ali was in the state of Rukua, and he gestured to him with his right pinky finger, which had a aqiq ring in it, and the only thing that Ali had is that ring. The supplicant approached him until he took the ring from his pinky. All of this was witnessed by the eye of the Prophet after the Prophet finished praying. Now, just if I told you now, if we had that ring that Ali donated, how much people will pay money for that ring? Like we have some jerseys usually of some athletes. They put millions of dollars for it. So imagine the ring of Ali. Allahu Akbar. Stronger than the ring of Sulaiman, right? The Prophet, after he saw the scene, he raised his hand to Allah. Look what he said. Oh Allah, Moses asked you, Prophet Musa, saying, Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli wa jjal li waziran min ahli Haruna akhi ushdud bihi azri wa ashriku fi amri. So, Prophet Musa in these verses in the Quran, Prophet Musa praying to Allah, he's told him, Oh Allah, like Musa prayed to you, saying, My Lord, uplift my heart for me with assurance and make my task easy and remove the impediment from my tongue so people may understood my speech. If someone has a PhD presentation, remember to recite these verses before you enter that hall. And grant me helper from my family, Harun my brother, strengthen me through him and let him share my task. Okay? Then the, prophets, then the Prophet continued saying, and you Allah, after Musa prayed to you, you revealed to him saying, that we will strengthen your armor through your brother and grant you both authority so they will not reach you. The same prayer, the Prophet did it. He said, oh Allah, like him praying, I'm telling you, Rabbi, shrah li sadri, yassir li amri, wahlul uqdatan min lisani, yafqahu qawli, waj'al li waziran min ahli, aliyan. So he replaced Harun with Ali alayhi salam. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on that prayer, definitely Ali alayhi salam, after these verses, then Allah revealed, إِنَّمَا وَلِيكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَيُتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ 
And this is the strongest verse in the Quran Kareem. The strongest verse in the Quran Kareem that proves that Ahl al Bayt were assigned and appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is the one who gave them that authority. Dear brothers and sisters, it's not easy to say, I have authority from Allah to do so and so. Those are the unfortunate, the extreme groups that they claim things that they are not for them. And Shia school of thought, we are so strict. If we don't have enough, inshallah, after nights of power, we have the presentation of taqlid. I wish everyone can be here. And you will see how Shia scholars, they bring proofs to give the maraja some authority in the time of the major occultation of the meeting. Now, Sallallahu Just let me conclude with three points, please. Second, how Ali also managing the affairs of the Muslims. He is the one in charge of governors over the believers after the Messenger of Allah. This was affirmed by the Messenger of Allah. And where, where is the day that Prophet Muhammad assigned Ali and he gave him full authority? The day of Ghadir. It's not Eid Ghadir now to speak about the event of Ghadir. But remember, that was the official designation from Prophet Muhammad to Imam Ali. He's appointing him as the one who have the right to manage the affairs of the Muslims. Please follow me just in some points. Now in the Shia school of thought, Shia resources now, we find that the wilaya was interpreted in various verses in the Quran. And I'm not exaggerating. The first verse, عَمَّ يَتَسَاءَلُونَ عَنِ النَّبَأِ الْعَظِيمِ We all know Surah Al-Nabaq. Everyone is requesting, asking about the great news. What is the great news? Imam Sadiq said that the great news is Imam, is Wilaya. Another verse. Who comes on the day of judgment with one good deed, he will have ten times like it. Subhanallah, I always tell my dear brothers and sisters, that the Quran translated to English sometimes will ruin its meaning. So hasana in this verse, Imam Sadiq said that the hasana is the wilaya. So who comes on judgment day, having the wilaya of Ahl al-Bayt salam, Allah will reward him multiplied by 10. Easy? Now, also Surah Al-Asr. By time, all humans are Allah's, except those, believe righteous deeds. Tawasa will have enjoy one another for righteousness, enjoy one another for patience. Now, what is righteousness? Haq, Imam Sadiq said that it's wilaya. Now, subhanAllah, wilaya is very important that it will follow us, dear brothers and sisters, to our graves. You know, yesterday I mentioned that we will be questioned about theological questions in the grave. Look, Imam Sadiq in hadith in Al Kafi, the volume three. Page 241, Shia resource, he said. He said the deceased would be asked in his grave about five things. I don't know if you can move forward. I think it's somewhere there. Five. No, no. That's it. Yeah, the, the deceased will be asked in his grave about five things. Salat, his prayer. Psalm, his fasting. Sadaqa, his charity, zakati, afan, salati, his zakati, so prayer, zakat, charity, hajjihi, pilgrimage, siyamihi, fasting, and then he said, wa wilayatuna iyana ahl bayt. And the wilay, and the wilay that we spend 50 minutes just explaining the meaning of wilay of Allah, Messenger, and Ali, alayhi salam. And then he said, subhanallah. Then the wilaya will answer on behalf of the four. Completing, I will complete whatever deficiencies are found in you. <laughs> so if someone wasn't fully concentrating in play, prayer in his life, he wasn't actually fasting as he's pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the wilayah will come and complete that and perfect that. That's the importance of wilayah. You tell me, oh Sheikh, why wilayah is so huge in this world? To conclude, and allow me, give me like another five minutes, please. Inshallah, I will make sure to finish by 11, forgive me. But this is wilaya. And I told you every topic they gave me in the month of Ramadan require a couple hours. But despite that, wilaya 
because it's taking care of the entire Muslim nation. Entire Muslim nation. It's not about you, it's about us. And taking care of us is a higher priority than taking care of you. You tell me, oh Sheikh, my cousin is like my friend. I can't shake their hands. But they are like my brother. They are like sibling. Ooh, I will not think about marrying them all my life. My intention is so pure. Why I can't shake their hands or hug them? I will tell you because Islam came to guide the entire nation. It's not coming just for you as you. It's for us. Oh, Sheikh scarf in certain places, high temperature, stuff like that. Scarf is not just for you, dear. It's for the entire Muslim nation. And by the way, scarf also is not just for the women. Also, it benefits the males. We'll talk about that, inshallah, in future gatherings. But despite that, Allah, when he said from the beginning, I'm putting, placing a deputy, a representative on the land. What did the angels say? Please remember those verses in Surah Al-Baqarah. They said, أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَا Will you place on earth who shed blood and cause corruption at the social level? He didn't say you will place on earth who will steal, lie, cuss. We have a lecture about cussing, by the way. <laughs> about cussing, Subhanallah Imam Zain al said that the organ that will take majority of a human, a humans to hellfire is the tongue, by the way. But despite that, you will put on earth who will shed blood and cause corruption. I want to ask you a question. What happened with Imam Ali السلام, after he became the official caliph? He was setting the priorities of the Muslim nation. And he was trying to call people that to the war of Nahrawan and Siffin. No one answered him. People in Kufa, they got tired. They told him it's been one year and they have fighting for what? And then when they stopped, look what happened to the Islamic nation from that time until today. We are not able to rise. Imam al Hussein alayhi salam left Mecca. Please listen to the wilaya. It's very important to understand what wilaya is. Otherwise, if Imam al Mahdi appeared and we don't understand what wilaya is, wallahi, we will do to him like what the people in Mecca did to Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Imam al Hussein, he was in Mecca, dear brothers and sisters. They were praying, they were uh, supplicating, they were crying, some of them prostrating. Thousands of Muslims, they were crying day and night in Mecca for Allah and they are leaving his deputy, his representative, his Khalifa. They are leaving him to go to Kufa alone until he stuck there with 72 warriors and they all sacrificed themselves for the sake of Allah. And still those individuals are what? Are praying and doing so and so. Do not think that rituals are more important than the social justice. Social justice is more, way more important than what? Than ritual. If this prayer will not make me a social activist to push justice and to fight oppression, then this prayer has no meaning, by the way. Has no meaning. Go and do yoga, Habibi. I think it's better for you to be honest with you. Those individuals, they did the same. Meditation, there's millions of ways to do meditation these days. There's a music on YouTube that will help you meditate. You don't need this prayer. This prayer, the reason behind it is to create individuals that they will push justice and they will, in a way, resist oppression. That's what happened to Imam Ali and Imam Hussain. That's why as a Shia, we believe, okay, in our time, before the Imam arrive and appear, who will be taking care of the affairs of the Muslims? And that's one of the reasons why we follow the marajah. Marajah, when a marjah announces himself as a marjah, it's not like someone reaching PhD and he's happy about it. Trust me, marajah, before they, they say, okay, we will become a marjah tomorrow, they will be praying all night, begging God to please excuse us, but this is the only way for the imam to arrive and appear. That's why I'll conclude with these uh, couple points that Shias, Believe that wilaya is a spiritual guidance and help us interpret the Quran Kareem. Second, wilaya help us preserve the authenticity of our path. Without Ahl al bayt how we will know the Sunnah of the Prophet? Makes sense. Three, wilaya to help us establish jo uh, social justice and equity within societies. 
for resistance against tyranny and oppression. Wilaya is the fuel of unity and cohesion. One of the reasons why Allah made the only person to be born inside the Kaaba is Ali for us to unite under his umbrella. Please, if you want to complain about a wali, complain about someone who's living in a castle, storing gold, having trillions, billions of dollars for himself and millions of people. Complain about those. Fight those. But how about Ali, alayhi salam, who if you put three types of food in front of him, he will remove one and telling one of his daughters, remove one type of food. I don't want me to... My standing before God to be prolonged because I'm using more resources from her. And six, wilaya is about intercession on judgment day and spiritual support and aid, continuity of leadership and governance. Wa akhir da'wana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, Allahumma ja'alna minal, repeat after me, Allahumma ja'alna minal mutamassikeen bi wilayat. Say it louder. Bi wilayat Aliyan alayhi salam. Allahumma ajjil li waliyik al faraj. Waj'alna min ansarihi wa awanihi min akhwayati sultanihi wa al-tafiin an. Please recite Surah Al-Mubarak to Al-Fatiha. For all the deceased ones, all who passed away from our community, for all the deceased loved ones, the arwah al-shuhada, al-ulama, for all the oppressed, innocent spirits, we recite for them, inshaAllah, send the gift of station of chapter al fatiha for salawat ala muhammad wa ali muhammad i was about to create like a test after to check if everyone was concentrating but inshallah we will leave it after the month of Ramadan. I know everyone is tired. Wallah, may Allah reward you for coming to the mosque and listening to lectures. Inshallah, we hope to see you tomorrow at the first night of Fawr. I know some maraja they have, they have it Thursday, Saturday, Monday. Some maraja they have Friday, Sunday, Tuesday. But remember the hadith from the Prophet. He said the night of Fawr might be hidden in any night at the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So that's why, based on that precaution, Try to attend all nights. Try to connect spiritual to Allah all nights. That inshallah will help us. At the end, do it for al qurb al mutlaqa This is the niyyah. Yani general intention that I'm doing for the sake of Allah. So if actually the night of our was today, then Allah reward me. If not, Allah will reward you in both cases because you're praying and supplicating and seeking istighfar and tasbih. Ajarakum.